to create a brand new palletizer recipe with our Quest Industrial BoxBot software, we first select the recipe we want to modify. The system is capable of continuing to run while we modify a recipe. Then we go to Pattern Edit, and we go to Box Data, and from here, we can modify the box dimensions. And we're gonna call this box 23.5 inches long and 7.8 inches wide. We're gonna keep the height the same, weight the same, overlap the same. This means that the boxes won't be over, won't be allowed to overhang the edge of the pallet. Call that finish. Now, if we want, we could just drag and drop the boxes to whatever pattern we want them to end up being in. But we have a faster method. We have these auto-generate buttons here, which will take the box dimensions we have plugged in and automatically calculate an optimized pattern for us. So I think we are going to go for an interlock pattern. And this is looking pretty good. But let's say box number 9 and 10 have special labels on the right side of the box that we need to flip to the outside. So to do that, we select the box we want to flip. We're going to go to the Advanced Placement page, and we're going to rotate the box around. And I'm going to use these bump buttons to scoot the box until it hits something else. That allows us to get the boxes nice and tight up against each other. But now we have a problem, because this black box represents the robot's gripper, and we have an empty half of the gripper overhanging the side of the pallet. So what we want to do here is get boxes 9 and 10 grouped together like these other boxes are so that the robot will pick two boxes at the same time and drop them at the same time. And to do that, we want to go to our flip and swap page. We're going to spin box 10 around and that's close, but now we need to swap the order because the box on the purple edge of the gripper, that is dropped first. So now these boxes are going to be picked up at the same time and dropped at the same time. And we no longer have any gripper overhanging off the edge that may have caused collision with guarding or other pieces of machinery. So this pattern is good. Now we're going to check the flipped version of this pattern because it has automatically generated a flipped version for us so we can create a nice interlocking as the stack goes up. This looks good. We're going to go back to the basics page. And from here, we can save our changes. Now we go to layer edit. And here we can set how many layers our stack is. Let's say we have seven layers on this stack. And let's say the first three layers are all column stack, and after that, we start flipping every other layer so we have a nice interlock. And let's say instead of a slip sheet on layer three, we put a slip sheet on layer four, and let's say it's a GMA palette instead of a check palette. And we're gonna save our changes, and we have our brand new recipe complete.